to just do a read and we give the ID. So in our case, we're reading Kafka and also this returns an error. And the actual record is the return type because this is a function. So we say record equals to this and replaces those two call OPF and F read dot description and this dot interface. And that's all. Hello, welcome to Math is Digital. My name is Aaron, and today we're going to continue our discussion on T24 components. We're going to discuss another important concept, which is tables. So we're going to see how to work with tables. Traditionally, in uh, T24 programming, when you have a template or an application, and you want to work with that application, we need to know the field positions of that table or file. And in most of cases, every template or every application we have an insert file, which is named like this i underscore f dot and the name of the application. In this case, our application is called MTD channel. And this is our insert file. Now, this is a typical T24 application, could be a customer, could be any other field. But of course, uh, those core fields, the fields for core applications are defined by terminals. So you have insert file from uh, terminals. And this is a local application. Now, if you have a local application, you need to define this file for yourself. Typically, the file looks like this. So in this case, our MTD channel application has 17 fields. But basically, the most important fields for this are here, which we'll be focusing on, okay? The rest will have five resolved fields, and we have traditional audit fields like record status, current number, input authorized, and so on. Okay. Now, when you're working in T24 programming, if you want to retrieve data or to add data or to manipulate data in this table, we need to know the position. And we don't add code the position number, I could say one, two, three, and so on. But it's better we use the field names. So this is the reason why we, in most of cases, we require to have this file. So how you do that? Normally, this is out of scope, but let me show you as a recap for someone who does not know T24 programming yet. So you do like this, insert, and the name of the file. In this case is ifmtd.channel. Okay. By doing this, you have access to all the fields which have been defined here. Basically, if I do this, and I come to the equate here, you see all the fields are pulled, and here, I can now start working with this. And uh, I can also log in to show you how uh, this looks like. To run EX. So is MTD channel. If I do this, you see it has these fields. We have uh, ID, ID of the channel. We have description. We have uh, as the first field, interface as the second, active number three, and all those seventeen fields. Other seventeen fields. Okay. And of course, we can also list all the. In our case, we only have three channels. For instance, let me check number one. It has a description as email channel and the interface which is being used is email and this channel is active and the second one is not active so it's called Kafka streaming so this channel has been created for this interface called Kafka okay 
Now we can pull the details of uh, these channels easily from the program. Now traditionally how we do that, you open a file, after opening a file, you get a file descriptor, then you read a particular record and you can display the details. <clears throat> how to do that? Now we create uh, two variables. One which is going to have the name of our file. Let's say file name channel, which is the name of our channel. And also have another one for file descriptor. You can just name it F channel, which is normal empty. Then we make a call to OPF. Call OPF which accepts these two variables for the name and for our descriptor. Okay. This will just open this table and uh, returns the file descriptor. Okay. Then next we'll do, what we need to do, we read the record which we're interested in. For instance, we can read this uh, Kafka. So now the ID is a Kafka. So we use another terminal routine, which is called fread. So if read accepts again this file name. Also the record you want to read, I'm just going to put the ID here. It's a Kafka. And it returns the record. So you can just name this as record. Why not? And we need to supply so our file descriptor. In our case, it's this one. And optional it also returns an error in case the record is not found or if there's any other particular error already. But this is how we normally do, and we have access to this record. Okay. Of course, if you want, you can check if you don't have any error. In this case, what you do. You say if error is not equal to empty, let's print the error and also stop the program because there's no need of continuing the program. Okay. If we are here, it's because we don't have any error, so we can print the de the details of this record. So let's do that quickly. So the CRT, we want to get the description. Uh, we also want to get, let's say, the interface. The interface that uses this channel. This should be sufficient. And this will, will come from this record, okay? So we say we need to get the record. Now we get the individual position for, of course, we could say one, and this will return field number one or column number one, and this will return column number two. But what is one and two really doesn't mean anything. It's better to get to the position. This is the reason why we have this insert file. Okay. So if you look at the equate here, we have position one we can use either description empty chn description or we can use this uh, mtd channel then description okay which is still the same position basically here either we can use this or we can use this one i tend to prefer this because it's more descriptive and do like this and for the interface, we just pick the second one. Okay. This is how we used to do, and this is how most of program T24 programs are written. Now let's run our program. All right. So you can see the description is Kafka streaming and the interface is Kafka. Fantastic. This is how we traditionally do. Now, when you're working with component, 
we don't use this uh, insert and uh, we don't really need to call these two routines and we don't need actually this um, insert file anymore which means if you don't have it there's a better way to do that now this brings us to the concept of table now a table or dot table file we describe our table definition so which means show the results in the definition in the definition here what you need to do you need to say new component this one and you select table and then you give it a name of course it will be the name of the table in our case it is called uh, mtd channel okay click finish the file is created here so by default the visibility or the scope of the table is private which means only the methods or the programs which are part of these components are allowed to work with this table to, I say, to get the fields names and also to do manipulation or read the records and so on okay it's private but of course we don't have any subroutine which is reading the details and so on if you want to use it globally we need, we need to change the scope to public now this is the name of our, of our table in this component but we need to supply the actual name from t24 in our case it is mtd channel this is the name we have in t24 this is what we type here mtd channel okay so this is the reason why here we need to say this is now nah. here we're making a link to the t24 name the rest is to put the field we have we have description as the first field we have interface as the second one we have active as the third one and so on okay feel free to add the rest of the fields if you need to use them for instance i don't need to use this now and i don't want to waste your time adding this now this is one way and basically this is enough you can compile of course but we don't compile tables there's no we can't compile but what you do in this case you need to build your component so if you compile this stuff here it's going to produce table the tables char which we have this definition of our table into the channel okay now if you want to keep the jbc names yes you can do that but in this case you need to put them into parentheses okay so like this in the parentheses you put the actual jbc name if you want you can also do for the rest but it's as i told you it's not a must this is optional and of course you can do for the rest of the fields okay again this is enough okay. again let's build our component now by defining the table we have access to multiple methods for instance don't we no longer need this uh just insert we don't need these two opf and for it we don't need really i can get rid of that and traditional how we do that uh we have using so we do using and our component into the training then we can read easily so we do mtd dot training dot see we have uh, mtd channel 
we have we see the method we have we have read we have read archive we have read history unauthorized and so on okay we want just to do read this is a wrapper around a read so just do a read and we give the id so in our case we're reading kafka and also this returns an error and the actual record is the return type because this is a function so we say record equals to this and this is enough um this is enough we are getting an error because we're using this the traditional of inserting but this is replaces those two call opf and f read now of course here we we don't we no longer have insert so how do we get the position again we get them from our component so you say this dot description and this dot interface and that's all so you see we have a few code and we we have now let's test if we test it's going to work similarly so there's no difference all right thank you i hope you have enjoyed watching this video please like it and share with your friend thank you See you next. Bye-bye.